Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rossology, and welcome to Pottermore. Now, this Pottermore is a very old thing. Everyone has already done this. Everyone knows everything about Harry Potter. But Facebook has added an option in which you can add your little house symbol to the bottom of your picture. And I thought it would be fun to redo my house sorting. The Fuck! I have already sorted into a house when I first did Pottermore, and I am a Hufflepuff. And gosh darn it, I am proud to be a Hufflepuff, but I'm doing this to see if it'll sort me into the same house again, or if it'll sort me into something a little different. So, we're going to begin the experience. Do I prefer dawn or dusk? I've always been more of a night owl. I don't tend to get up in the morning, so I will select dusk. dusk. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? Interesting. Oh, I think I have to go with the piano. Drums are nice, but when you hear a lovely piano, just... Ah, oh, man, I would have to say the piano most pleases my ear. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, merpeople, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls? Interesting. I think the one that I... Oh, man, I think it would be centaurs. Because centaurs, let me flip through this list. Centaurs are, obviously we're in the Harry Potter world, but I have to use my knowledge of what I know about things and what I would pick. And I have a huge boner for Greek mythology. And I would love to learn more about centaurs. Centaurs seem pretty great. So why not? And also let me preface this. Oh, the thing changed there. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Uh, I did get sorted in the Hufflepuff. I am very proud to be a Hufflepuff. I feel, I feel like that suits me. But originally, I did want to be a Gryffindor. So if I were to give you what... Just to give you this information, I really wanted to be a Gryffindor. And the only one I really didn't want to be was Slytherin because I really felt like that didn't suit me. I didn't say that at the beginning, so I just wanted to say that out there. I'm sorry. Late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you... Proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for any disturbance. Draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Draw your wand and stand your ground. Withdraw into the shadows to await development while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. I, I feel like it's this one. Because I, I just hear a noise. So, I don't know what anything that this noise is, but I feel like knowing me, that noise would scare me. I'd be like, okay, what was that? And I would wait a second. This one, you're like, oh shit. It was either between the last one or this one, because this one, you're still doing the same thing. You have your wand. You're like, what's going on? What's going on? The next one, draw your wand out. You hear a noise. I'm not going to go battle stance. Let's go. And the same thing with this one. Well, actually, with the next one, this one is more... Fight me right now. The one before this is more what made that noise. I want to find it out. But I think that I'm going to have to go with this one because I hide. Because I feel like that's what naturally I would do. I would kind of get out of the way. Oh no, while well, mentally reviewing. No, 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 no. I would definitely have my wand at the most at the ready as possible. Because if something were to go wrong, I'm going to be ready to prepare. So I'm actually going to go with this one because... I feel like keeping my hand on the wand is a huge thing. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh, there's a big old list. I definitely don't think I'd want a cat. Cats, you can get a normal freaking cat. Oh man, do I want an... I probably want an owl. How can you not want an owl? Yeah, what kind of owl do I want? Oh man, how do you not want a freaking snowy owl? I mean, come on. How can you not want that? Which would you rather be? Envied? Imitated? Trusted? Praised? Liked? Or feared? I don't want to be feared. Envied? I don't want people to be jealous of me. Imitated? Imitation is the highest form of flattery. But I would rather people be themselves. I don't want them to be me. Trusted? I mean, I do want people to trust me. But do I want to be overly trusted, where that I'm an open book? I don't know. Praised, like. Ah, uh, I think it's either 
trusted or liked. Because I don't really need to be well praised. Being well praised isn't something that really appeals to me. I don't need people to tell me, Hey, you're doing great. I don't need these headphones on. There's no music playing. I'll play music for you later, but I don't need... It just makes my hair not look as pretty. But I think that I'm going to go with... Oh, fuck. Which would I rather be in real life? I'm, I'm going to go with liked. Because I feel like if they like me, they have to trust me to some degree. And I feel like liked kind of brings all of these together. Like, maybe they like you because they envy you. Maybe they like you because they want to imitate you. So, I don't want to say that this is a cop-out answer because it's not. It is honestly what I think I would rather be out of these options. And I, I, I like to be well-liked. I, I like people to like me, you know? I feel like I'm a pretty likable person. I'm not sure. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you but smile. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Think with admiration about your achievements. I don't care what people think after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. I don't like this answer and I don't like this answer. Because basically what you're doing while you're alive is to make like a legacy for yourself. You're making a name for yourself. No matter what you're doing in your life, even if making a name for yourself is just being the best chef, mom, dad, lawyer, lawnmower, surgeon, it doesn't matter. You're, you're trying to be good at something, at least in my opinion. So I think that the answer is think with admiration of your achievements. Because the achievements don't have to be, you know, I was the Michael Jordan of my thing. It says, hey, you remember Ross? Oh, yeah, man. He was a great this. He was a great that. Even if it's achievements in your personal life, he was a gr the greatest friend. He was the funniest person. He had the best hair. Those, I think, are achievements. You achieved being funny in that person's eyes. I don't want people to say, oh, I remember when he did this, this, and that. Which is kind of going on with this, but I'd rather people think of the things that I did rather than the adventure themselves. You know what I mean? Let me, let me, I'm sorry. Because if you're thinking of my achievements, let's say I go on an adventure and I achieve something. That kind of brings these two together because people are going to talk about your failings, of course. Who cares? But no matter what that achievement is, even if it's something small, like I already mentioned... I think this is what I would want, because no matter what the achievement is, even if it's just being, you know, your best friend, your best whatever, I think I'd rather them think about the achievements. Left or right? Left. I'm left-handed, so I... Oh, that was the end! Interesting, I got sorted into Ravenclaw this time. How interesting. How interesting. So, obviously, most of you, if not all of you, know this. Ravenclaw are the quote-unquote smartest house. And they use their logic, their... I don't want to say cunning, because that's more of a Slytherin term. They just use their logic, deductive reasoning, and their just general intelligence to solve situations. They yearn for more knowledge. I don't know. I think that's interesting. That I was sorted into a Hufflepuff the first time I took this test, and this time I'm a Ravenclaw. Interesting. I still feel like I'm a Hufflepuff at heart. I can't deny that because I wanted to be a Gryffindor I guess just because the books and the movies that's like that's what you want to be. You want to be the Gryffindor. Gryffindors are the best. They're brave. They're strong and I never wanted to be a Slytherin because I know not all Slytherins are evil, but that's not me. They're, they're cunning. They can be deceitful. They're also smart. They're also brave, but that cunning is a huge part of them and it's like mentally undermining people like if you're in a fight you're trying to think of a dirty way to win it i'm not sure you're not i <laughs> my lore of harry potter is not as high as it should be and i'm blowing a lot of smoke out of my own ass but i feel like that i'm a hufflepuff still even though i wanted to originally be a gryffindor and i could i guess if he's, i can see myself as a ravenclaw i do think that i'm a rather smart person i do like to learn new things i do like you know knowledge but Hufflepuff, they're fair, they're trustworthy, they're liked by everybody, they're particularly good finders, <laughs> and they're the people who put others in front of themselves. And I really do feel like that is me. 
Now, I've never been in like a life or death situation where I can stand in front of someone and take the bullet for them because that's not the path my life is in right now. But I like to think that I would be that person because that's just who I feel like I am. And I feel like Hufflepuff really exemplifies that. In the comments below, let me know what Pottermore sorted you into. And if you agree or disagree with that, or like in your heart, you know that this is your house. It doesn't matter what this test tells you. This is just a 10 whatever question long test. It doesn't decide for you. You know who you are. Let me know. I'm curious to know. So, and let me know if you think that what house I should be in. If you think that Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, if those are the two are more fitting, or if you think it's I should be a Slytherin or a Gryffindor. Let me know. I'm very curious. But until then, guys, thank you all so much for deciding to spend a magical amount of time with me today, and I'll see you next time.